Coming to video. How Buddy was kidnapped. One of my earliest and happiest memories, I think it was my fourth birthday, my parents got a complete set of Dr. Seuss and I devoured them and I treasured them. I think because you grew up with these books and because they have universal themes inside of them and because the illustrations ignite such fantasy in your mind as a child, it just leaves sort of an indelible memory. My dad used to say, and it's important to remember that he published Eugene O'Neill and, and William Faulkner and John O'Hara and all kinds of other people, but he always used to say that Ted was the true genius of all of those people. Give me five. Four. In 1955, The Cat in the Hat was written in response to the growing illiteracy amongst American children. A publisher challenged Ted to write a book that kids could not put down, insisting the book be limited to a list of 225 words. Ted spent two years working and reworking the list. Finally, obviously, you know the answer. He did do it, and uh, it took off like a rocket. The other thing about Dr. Seuss, which is why I think it's a classic for so many generations now, is uh, the words just seem fun in your mouth. <laughs> the stars of Seuss's material are children who go through something. They go in one end of something and come out the other end of this psychedelic world. And they come out having learned some life lesson. <laughs> 